I played an online video game many years ago. I'm not going to say the name. Mm-hmm. And one of my little avatars was a female. Mm-hmm. Well, another character in the ga- in the game was a, a guy, and, and he second, thought second, I was a real girl. Second life, or whatever the fuck it's called. I'm not going to say the. It game. was that. I don't know what it was, but anyway, go ahead. <laughs> no, because they'll know, they'll probably know who it is. Oh, okay. Go ahead. And so his um, so we dated, mm-hmm. and like our little characters were, and here I'm a gay guy playing a girl on, on this game, and and he's a dude, and we dated within this little world, mm-hmm. and he had a wife until we spent so much time in the game, he was ready to leave his wife and fly oh, to where. Oh my I'm, god! Never met I'm, you or it, anything. It, it, it was that serious. And he would send me pictures and I had made up a different email address. <laughs> oh my this, is God. How cra- this is how crazy I am. Right. And, um, yeah, it was kind of bad. And then I even cried once. <laughs> oh my God. I've never told anybody that story ever. Now you it just got it on the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, no, no. I know. Right. And my psycho, that made me crazy. <laughs> Makes you a little off, but that's okay. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no, I, no, I was going to say, I don't think it makes you crazy because the truth is I've told Rose this before and this is what I believe. And I know as I, because I've been on the internet since I was 14 years old before the internet even existed before it was the internet. And I've been, I've developed relationships online, many kinds of relationships. And I've developed feelings for people online when I was younger or whatever, when I was single and stuff before I ever met them. So it's very, very possible and very real to be able to develop real feelings for someone the thing is you don't know who you're developing them for until you meet them and in your case is a perfect example of that this guy thought he was talking to some woman and you presented yourself that way and you you he you obviously had feelings for this guy to some degree he had real feelings for you and to leave his wife had never met you before that yeah, it was crazy it got insane yeah. it was insane yeah. i had to stop playing the game for like six months oh my god to get that crazy Oh, yeah, well, there was um, actually a thing on 2020 about um, the game called Second Life or whatever it's called. Second something, I can't remember. I played it a long time ago. But anyway, and people go on there and they have avatars and they're living in the real world. You can build your own house. You can have a job, whatever, make money. And um, these two people were on there and they were two, the two – their avatars are completely different than they actually were, but they were male and, man and woman. And they were on there for a long time and they ended up leaving their spouses and, and before they ever met each other. And actually getting married on the, on, the, on, on the the game and then meeting in person and falling in love for real. So, I mean, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But, you know, I think it's like, you know, with Todd and Rose, they, they are, uh, they, they've never met. So Todd could be some transsexual woman or something. I don't know. You never know. <laughs> I, I'm really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Really? No, I've seen, I've what? seen, what? I've seen Todd's picture. He's not a, he's not a transsexual woman. Trust me, <laughs> he's definitely not. He's definitely a guy. That's for sure. Um, anyway, and I don't mean, I don't mean that the way it sounds, Todd. By the way, I haven't yeah, seen, yeah, I haven't yeah, seen yeah, all of it. Yeah, yeah. I've just seen the parts of you. Yes, very, very, very I like share with the group. <laughs> yes. Now, Todd, Todd's Todd's a good looking guy. He's a very good looking guy. And oh, uh, can I see a picture? No, I'm not sending you his picture. He, if they want to, they can, but I'm not. But uh, they, uh, Rose is a very pretty woman, I think, and I think that they they would be. I see a desert. I see desert's picture. She's yeah, very. She's, she's a really cute, cute girl. I think so so yes, and I I she like all of twelve. Her. She's so young looking. I know. I know. She's got a young face. Uh, yeah, she's. I'm like she's like twelve years old. Seriously. She's not. No. no I'm old. <laughs> she's older than I am. She's about your age, David. What? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am 39. Oh my god, he just gave it away. Yeah. Really? You're 39, my ass. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I know how old you are, but if you want to go and with that, hat. let's go with that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's see how many times how many birthdays has it been? You've been 39 now. Let's see. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> Several, but who's counting? Yeah, I know. I know yeah. Yeah, age ain't nothing but a number. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> no, I'm 42 and I'm proud. I embrace my age. That's because Oprah said if you deny your age, you d- your desire de- de- you deny your, denying your very existence. Yeah, well, that's yeah. true. I mean, I think people who are whatever age you are, you should own it because I think, as I've said before, 
you have a earned the right to you you've lived long enough to actually learn more i mean you're wiser as you get older whatever if you're smart and you uh you've earned a certain place in society that not everybody gets to some people don't get to live to be 42 or 52 or 62 you know so it's a privilege as you get you're exactly older. right i think that way anyway but a lot of people are so caught up on the looks and and staying young and, and, and living in the past and being who they used oh, to be. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a lot of people who who just can't get past their past and they, they try to relive it. And it, when it comes to beauty and stuff, people are so obsessed with how they look. And look, everybody wants to be attractive, but you, I mean, to try to look the way you did when you were 20, when you're 50 is just ridiculous. And um, <laughs> I mean, seriously, but there are people who are like that. And I just feel sorry for them because to me, I, for, I would never, and this is the truth. I don't you probably will disagree with me. Some of you, but I would never want to go back and be 20 years old. I was stupid. I thought I knew shit. Didn't know damn shit. I didn't know anything. And I thought I knew everything. And I was an idiot. And it, it, the things I've learned in my life, you know, since then have made me who I am today. And I thank God I've gone through the bullshit I've gone through and know the shit I know. But if I hadn't gone through all of it, I'd be the stupid same idiot I was when I was 20 years old. And so I would never want to be 20 years old again. Um, I, I wouldn't even want to look 20 years old again because I, I, don't know, I was gangly and stupid looking when I was 20. I, was, I don't know. No, I saw your pictures. <laughs> were nice. I, was, uh, I didn't like the way I looked when I was 20. But I just was, I was just geeky looking and I hated myself. But um, but no, I mean, you know, I just like, uh, I think people need to just accept who they are and, um, love themselves wherever you are in your life. Because if you don't, who's going to, who's going to. That's yeah. a great point. Yeah. Because I think, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I think that, um, you know, like. I mean, like, I would love, I can't wait to, I can't, it sounds weird, but maybe weird, maybe not. I can't wait to be, like, old. Like, old, and, like, um, like, with my husband, hopefully, and sitting there on the porch, and, like, you know, feeding each other, and... <laughs> like, <laughs> feeding each other? Uh, turning up each other's sure oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, because we're going to be old and shit. I just, you know, whatever. I mean, I don't know. I just think there's a there's a certain dignity in aging to a certain age and being able to be that age and just, I don't know, I don't have to worry, but I don't know. I'm just weird, but I've always got to be kind of old anyway. I've always, even when I was a kid, I was like old acting. I didn't, I like, it was always around the old people. So I always related to them more than I did people my own age. So even the day, most people I my friends with are older than me. Like all of you guys are. Well, not Todd. You and Rose are older than I am. So, uh, <laughs> so that's just. No, Todd, Todd's young. Yeah, I know how. To, I know how old Todd is. Yeah, yeah he's like supposed to be fifty something years old, huh? Which is hilarious that they think that. <laughs> yes, yes, fifty, fifty four, I believe, fifty five, somewhere in there. I, I I'm lose s- track. You gotta be an idiot to believe that. That's so stupid. I mean, uh, even before I saw your photographs and stuff, I knew you weren't fifty something years old. I mean, you, your voice and you're just not whatever, dumbasses. But who cares what they think? Mm. So anyway, yeah. Um, yeah. does anybody have anything else to add before we go? Anything you want to talk about? Any topics you want to the burning on your mind today? Burning, burning, burning to get out. Go ahead, David. I I know there's something burning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything burning, so to speak. Okay. <laughs> um, I will say when you said earlier about Darren Young, uh, you know the W. I watched wrestling um, Mondays and Fridays, and you know they haven't said anything about him being gay. It has never been addressed on the broadcast. Not, I think not one good. thing. I, I yeah, like that. not one not, time. I like that uh, actually. You know why? Because that's that that makes him that makes him just like everybody else. That's why I like that. Oh, okay. I can see it that way. I could, but I can see it, you know, a other way too. About of well, course, yeah, I'm not getting to that. No, get into <laughs> but it. I, yeah, they 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 haven't e- even said anything. But I think they would address it. You know, you know, he came out. We're proud of him, and we support him. But they haven't said anything at all. Nothing at so, all. And normally in. 
Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I was, listen, I was listening to what you're saying. Go ahead. But yeah, normally, I mean, most other wrestlers who have came out in, in history are completely shunned. Um, I know one who came out, you know, a few years ago. He was fired not too long after that, and then he he committed suicide or something to those extents. I mean, just completely ruined his life. Yeah. So I could see yeah. why this guy was, was absolutely the scared shitless about coming out, but um, it's ended up, you know, being very successful for him, which is yeah, like they're even wrestling more, right? The prime oh, yeah. time players. Yeah. Yes. They're, they're, they're on tonight. That's right. That's right. They are, you know, it kind of seems like they're getting a little more publicity with his coming out. I'm glad that WWE hasn't turned it into a publicity stuff like they do with most everything else. Exactly. Uh, they kind of kept quiet, but it would be good to see some kind of mutual support from them. And that's I think that's where I'm coming from, the support from the WWE. This is some part that they haven't did anything, you know, scandalous because he's came out, but um, I would think that they some, show some kind of support, you know, even on National Coming Out Day, which was today, they had a broadcast tonight, and uh, nothing was said. Nothing. Nothing at all. Is he, is he biracial? What the fuck is he? I, every time I look at him, I can't tell what the hell he is. Is he Hawaiian, Samoan? I think he's... Yeah, he looks biracial to me. He's definitely... But he's got the weirdest skin tone I've ever seen. It looks like he's got, like, fake tan on all the time. Or is that just something that's on him, mm-hmm. or what? Is that his natural skin, skin tone? Now, don't give me the line. I might have to ask Todd that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He might know. He he obviously watches. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big big fan. I think that's actually his his natural skin tone. I don't know uh, what his ethnic background is. It's just uh, interesting. I just can't figure out. You know, I can't figure it out. I'm just curious to know uh, what he is. So let me look it up. Darren Young. Oh, okay. yeah, it's, it's his little boyfriend is is. Is actually pretty young there. Uh, oh, he has a boy. Is he dating somebody? I didn't know that. Yeah, he's yeah, he's friend. dating. It, yeah, they had some article I think on on People uh, People Magazine where they showed a picture of his of his boyfriend of a couple of years, and the guy looks pretty young. So I'm like, wow. He's like, oh, I wanted to bring him to WWE functions. I'm like, yeah, that's the thing to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe I'm not liking. Yeah, he looks biracial. Yeah, I think somebody he is. put on this thing. <laughs> I'm looking it up, trying to find the answer. Somebody put on this 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 post and this forum. It said, "Serious question: Is this guy black or just really really tan?" <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, nobody knows the answer though. Everybody, it's hilarious. Everybody's trying to figure it out. I'm, I don't know what he is. I just yeah, want to know. He almost looks Polynesian. Yeah, there's like some kind of like exactly. There's some. It feels like there's some kind of Samoan or something in there. Oh wait, um, no, there's no. He's from New Jersey. He's 33. What the fuck is his ethnicity? I want to know. It's not even showing it. Like, Nowhere. It doesn't show anywhere. I'm looking everywhere, and you'd think it would be somewhere. I feel horrible because this happens to me all the time. Like, what are you? What are you? I hate that fucking question. What are you? When are you? I'm like, I know. Like, here we are. Like, what is he? Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm just curious because I because he's interesting looking, and I don't know. I'm trying to place what he is, but I can't figure it out. It's freaking me out. He's got to be. He's got to wait. Okay. Well, this picture he looks like he has an afro. So, he's obviously partially African American, but it doesn't say. There is actually a question on the internet: Is Darren Young black, or does he have a dark tan? Like That's people- what I just said. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I know. Darren Young is a black John Cena. Who's John Cena? Ooh, John Cena. Is he hot? He's okay. He's, he's Polynesian. It's weird. Proud of Darren oh, Young. God. What? Not John. Well, that's my that's my son's hero to die for. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? He likes him? I, I like John Cena, too. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> you don't like John Cena? No, no. I've, 
I've actually enjoyed this last two or three months without him around at all. Now, now he's coming back. I'm like, oh my god, now. Yeah, in two weeks. Yeah. <laughs>